Hello. So here I am doing another. It's been a, a few days because sometimes I lack some of the vegetables or fruits. <coughs> Part of me is I try to heal my my tight chest, <coughs> so I have a dry cough. And um, I'm actually using eucalyptus oil. I'm pouring it in a uh, boiling water this and then I open it and I breathe it. You see the smoke? So anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to use a wide mouth. This is what I always need. I've been using my coffee, my French coffee presser, but instead this is wide mouth enough. And the good thing is I don't care if it stains. It's um, These fruits and vegetables do stain and uh, even my shirt stays with the flavor, but I've learned how to eliminate that as well. But let's get going. Okay, so in case you're wondering about the background music, um, you know, we all <clears throat> we all know that we need a day of rest at least, right? Just one day at least to dedicate to resting, um, kind of like deprogramming, de-stressing, right? <clears throat> so I do believe that God intended for us to do that. And, um, you know, the Christian Bible is Judeo-Christian. Uh, so... I'm starting to really, really more and more want to do keep the Sabbath. Um, why not Sunday? Because Sunday was never really written in the Bible to be a church day or anything like that yet. I mean, I don't want to get religious on you, but um, <clears throat> there are dark religions that their day is Sunday. Um, and you would wonder why, right? So I'm, it's starting to fall into place for me. I, I'm loving the idea of having a day to rest. Even though I'm home every day and jobless, you still need a day to rest because during the week I'm studying, I'm trying to improve my resume, my skill set, etc. And also running errands as well. <clears throat> and um, I don't, I, you know, maybe, maybe it took the accident for me to realize this, but uh, having a day off and making it the sa Sabbath, it's actually really full sinking into my spirit now these days so i'm only explaining this because you hear some jewish music i i started to look for shabbat music and um uh i just want you to understand what my mind is i'm not trying to be jewish or trying to be of any religion or color other than what i am right i'm a christian believer and i'm a minority latina right and that's what i am i don't believe in trying to change who i am because you really people really <laughs> it, it, it's sort of like being ashamed of who you are. So don't mind me as I try to explain away my cough, my background music, my viewpoint as far as, you know, my approach to picking a day to rest and um, why I want to align more with what I really believe is a biblical foundation. Um, uh, I listen to the Bible a lot because I, I do it all through audio as opposed to by reading. I'm a little lazy, a little ADD. See, I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> so I work around whatever I've got. Uh, but um, I know I have a lot of catching up to do on a lot of things and on a lot of subjects, theories, etc. <clears throat> but there are a lot of theories and subjects that I have already put aside, um, uh, put a little check mark on it, <clears throat> That it uh, certain things really don't make sense, or not spiritually correct, or godly correct, etc. So anyway, enough about me. <clears throat> Let's continue here. Let me start with my apples. So I'm, I'm really actually using more, more so one hand. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put the the carrot. I can't do this without carrot and 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 celery. It's such a big part of it. I, I should put other things such as, um, I, I remember using set long ago when I first started, um, <clears throat> and, um, broccoli, I don't know, that little tree, um, I watched on YouTube that broccoli really did, shouldn't have a big tree. Um, that's in America and it's a sign that it's not as original as it should be or healthy as it should be. Uh, but that's another conversation for another day or maybe perhaps another video by someone else. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start juicing. I hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, good 
evening, whatever time, day of the week, or even year that you're watching this. Oh. Of course, I gotta push it. I never had to push it so much. Let me just let me just remove some things because um, I don't want to force anything down because then it doesn't liquefy good enough nicely. You know what I mean? Oh, great. All right, let me put this on hold here for a second. Okay, so here we go again. I kind of like cut it down a little bit more. And I try to put first the items that are very juicy. So that way it could kind of like pave the way for the things, the leafy things, right? The kale is not very juicy. You know, kind of dry, right? Well, that's the way I like to work it. I'm even taking some of it out and resuming it for later. And I'm going to put some celery in now. And I know this is boring for you and you've seen plenty of it. But it's a natural. I haven't done it in the past couple of days because I ran out of uh, a couple of things. Okay. See, I use this to push it. I'm going to push this right through. Put to help the kale. Push it down. I don't even need that instrument, right? To push it, right? So, um, now I'm going to do kale. Beautiful kale and uh, celery. Because celery really juices nicely, so it moisturizes. It doesn't get stuck in there. <clears throat> I'm going to put apples. carrots. I don't usually cut them down, but if the ends are a little too thick for the shoot, then I I do it ahead of time. So hold on. I'm going to cut my orangey kind of beet. I ran out of the red ones. Okay, so as you can see, the beet is kind of like yellowish inside. It's not a red beet, but it's rich in color. Um, yellow doesn't represent the blood. May, what does it represent? I don't know. I know that the urine diluted is, is yellow because the, the, the color in the urine is really from the blood. And it gets darker and darker if you dehydrate it. So I don't know what this means if it's uh, a diluted, diluted form of red beet. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it down as if it's, it were an instrument. You hear it? Hear that noise? That's me banging it. Whip. Using the, uh, <coughs> using the, uh, there we go. Using the celery. You see that? Okay, apples. And it only takes a minute. Pineapple. It only takes a minute to do this. It really goes real fast. More carrots. I'm big on the carrots. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, everything just here, right? But it's supposed to be good for the eyes. Ginger. This is a big piece of ginger. Oh, I need some cutting. Okay, so let's get back to juicing. I'm gonna use this for now. To hit it down because I got a lot of. It goes in smoothly, actually. Okay, it's a lot of ginger in there, right? A lot of ginger. A little piece of uh, celery. A little pineapple. A little tiny piece of ginger. So this has a lot of ginger in comparison to most of my uh, juices. Okay. And we're done. See how easy this is? Look at my hands. Look at 
my basket. It's totally empty now. It was full of fruit before. And now what you do is, as soon as you're done, as soon as you're done with doing this, you immediately put the straw in there, spill out whatever's left in there, and I, I normally get distracted washing the stuff, but no. Drink it. The enzymes are really, really fresh. Drink it as soon as possible. Saluto. Thank you for watching.